How's everybody doing? This is Dan, Chase the Dream. Back with a video after a very, very, very long, maybe long hiatus. Um, yeah, I kind of took a step back. I uh, didn't feel I was bringing any value to my videos. Um, I was very new at reselling and just trying to make videos at the same time. Um, multiple reasons that was causing issues, mostly because, you know, I didn't really know what the hell I was talking about. Um, <laughs> and it was taking time away from being productive. So, um, I've now been an eBay seller for one year, one year, and it is part-time. Um, I work a full-time job in manufacturing. I help with the process of manufacturing catalogs, as exciting as that sounds. Um, I work a lot of hours, smelly, dirty, a lot of fun stuff that, uh, goes with manufacturing, um, but helps pay the bills. It's not what I want in life, so decided to get back on the eBay kick here, man, um, on YouTube, yeah, eBay kick. Let's get back on the YouTube uh, kick here to make some videos, hope to help some people out, um, and help myself out, man. I've heard, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube, man. If you are ever in the live chats with, uh, you know, Rockstar Flipper or uh, Luke over at Endless Entrepreneurs, I'm, I'm there a lot. Um, love them two guys, but I see Luke all the time saying how much making the videos has helped him so you know hey i'm gonna help it out you know see what i got to give for this community and see um see what i can learn um but i wanted to go ahead here and show you some of the stuff i've got in the last couple days um i hit a bunch of different things um i have these sorted out by men's and women's clothes um not where i got them at but i mean i hit some local thrift stores and one yard sale in a day. Um, hit a big church yard sale, which was a pretty good score. And here's a tip for you yard, uh, yard sellers. Yes, you can buy clothing at yard sales. And yes, you don't always have to be the first person there. I rolled up at this church yard sale about 1130. They were looking to close up at noon. They were doing a dollar a bag. And it wasn't some little small grocery store bag. It was one of the big like department store bags that you got that you get. I fit ten pieces of clothing in it for a dollar, and I'll get into some of that stuff. And uh, yeah, some of it's pretty good. Also took some gambles on some stuff, but I basically paid ten cents a piece. So if it gets trashed, it gets trashed, whatever. But um, yeah, this is a large uh, variety. Of items that I like um, to sell I focus a lot on men's clothing um, even though like my store is probably a 50 50 split um, I kind of transitioned away from women's clothing a little bit um, except for one major thing that I love selling of women's clothing which I'll get into um, here but uh, I, I just trying to focus on one thing I'll pick up women's clothing if I see it and um it's cheap enough that you know it's not a risk at taking but you know it's something i'll get better with later i just want to focus on uh, men's clothing i seem to know that a little better but i'm actually going to start with the women's clothing show you what i got here um i'm gonna give you a you know rough estimate of what i kind of think i'm gonna get um for it you know obviously you never really know but um we're gonna see here. Um, first thing I got here is New York and Company. Um, this is a jean uh, skirt here. This was at that church sale, so it was ten cents. Um, size eight. So you know, I've I've learned, you know, eight size eight and up are usually the best for jeans. I don't know about jean skirts, but. I've actually never sold a jean skirt, but I picked up two today. So, um, we're going to sell a jean skirt. But, you know, I'm hoping to get $12 to $15 for this. Um, it's light. Uh, well, not light, but it's light enough that it'd go first class. So, you know, I won't have to pay priority for it. So, if I get, like, 12 for it, it would probably cost, like, three fifty to ship. So, make a profit on it. Learn. Build my feedback. It's always great things. Um, here is the other um, jean skirt here. It's a brand I hear uh, Casey talk about a lot. It is called Kato. And if you can see, that is a size 24. 
This is a very big jean skirt here. I'm actually hoping to get about 15 to 20 for this. Has these uh, little bedazzly thingies on the back here. Um, yeah, kind of open, you know, it's like a knee length. Um, kind of thinking in my area, there's a lot of uh, Mennonite girls and women, and uh, their young girls and women wear a lot of jean skirts because they don't really wear pants. So I'm thinking that's why there was a lot of them there. But uh, yeah, once again, it was 10 cents for that. Let's see, what are these? Oh, these I got at a thrift store on, uh, I think I paid full price for these. It was $3.99 here. And uh, this is a pair of Seven for All Mankind. They're listed in the thrift store as men's, but I'm pretty sure they're women. They're boot cut, size 31. Um, pretty nice. You know, $20, $25 for those. Paid four. It's a good flip. Um, let's move these off to the side here. Those are my special little interests there. Um, picked this up at a thrift store today. $4.99. It's half off. It's $2.50. This is a uh, Levi's Pearl Snap um, denim shirt. It's listed as a jacket. That's why it was five instead of four. But it's a shirt. Um, Pearl Snap's on there. Probably won't sell for a while. Um, I've a lot of my stuff is wintery based, but I'm trying to ramp up on some summer stuff. But uh, hoping to get 15 to 20 out of that too. But it's pretty nice. I like it. If I was a girl and bigger, well, I am bigger, but if I was a girl, I'd wear that. Um, this I bought at that church store. Uh, it's a Talbot's. Uh, like a little blazer striped size 20w i i to be honest i don't really know i just you know casey's been selling a lot of uh talbots lately so for 10 cents i picked it up if i can get 15 20 dollars for it that'd be cool um this right here not it's it says extra small which it definitely is extra small I think it might be like a junior's because, I don't know, it might be a kid's or a junior's, I'm not sure, it's definitely not an adult, but it's just a, like a, almost like a corduroy denim, like, vest, but it's, uh, three people, has this, uh, cute little buckle thingy there, you don't really know, I don't know what I'm going to get for it, I don't really know what, I don't know, I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest, but it was 10 cents, so... I picked it up based on free people. I might even be able to sell just a free people tag for 10 cents. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, so I picked that up. This right here, um, this is a nice little corduroy uh, brown uh, jacket here. This is uh, J. Jill. It's 2XL, so it's big size, good size, pretty cute. This was 10 cents as well. I think I should have no problem getting about 20 for this, you know, for a 10 cents item, you know, J. Dale's a pretty good brand, it's, um, from what I've been told, it's coming down, I've actually only ever sold, like, one piece, I think I sold one pair of J. Dale jeans, and then I have another pair of J. Dale jeans that have been sitting for, like, six months, but they don't have a size tag, so that makes sense, don't mind me, I drink some, uh, tea there, um, and then I got this thing here. This is also was at the church sale, 10 cents. Everybody loves Mickey. This is a long sleeve, uh, light cotton material. It's very nice. It's a uh, junior's extra large. But I really like this. Here has this little lace part in the back here. I think I can get 15 for this. Um, very light, like five ounces. So it's shipped cheap. But I'm pretty sure I can get 15 for that. Now, this is kind of my specialty. This is kind of where my niche has fallen in into uh, certain particular 
women's clothing item, work related, um, and that would be scrub tops. Now, they're not home runs. Um, you're not going to get $20, $30 ever for a yard sale. But I consistently sell scrub tops from $12 to $15 all the time. Currently, I have between 50 and 60 listed. And I'm adding on 5, 10, 15 a week. Um, it's going to be a large chunk of my business because they flip really fast. And I have an abundance of them in my area. We have like 20 nursing homes in the county. And staffing agencies and hospitals and all that kind of stuff. And they sit at thrift stores, yard sales. I've kind of gotten where to go. I, I buy them at uh, I buy them on Leco offer up all the time. Um, I don't usually like I, I avoid posts that have like scrub tops five dollars. I look for the big lots and I will buy a big lot of scrub tops. I just bought one the other week. I think there was like fifteen to twenty, and I paid like twenty five dollars for it. Great deal. I sold like three. I'm in the profit already. So. Um, now I'm going to show you kind of the ones that I look out for, um, here. And these, these are over the last couple days. This I bought at a thrift store half off. There's nothing super special about this. It's pretty good colors being pinks and the blues with the flowers stuff. Um, I paid a dollar. It was half off. It's a size 2XL. The bigger sizes will go for more. Novelties would go for more. If you find a big novelty, it goes for more and more. If that makes any sense. That's the way I price them. If this shirt was a medium, I'd list it for 12 Being that it's an extra large, I'll list it for like $13.50. Um, if it was a novelty shirt in a medium, I'll list it for $13.14. Big size, novelty, usually $15.99, somewhere around there. But um, also you're going to find out of scrub tops... Brand doesn't really matter that much. I mean, there's a couple brands that are better than others. Um, off the top of my head, Koi um, is probably the best. Um, there's a couple other brands. You, you'll be able to tell usually, like, if it's a form-fitting one. Uh, women seem to like that. Um, I don't want to act like I'm a genius or anything as far as scrub tops. My wife is actually a nurse, so that's where I've learned this stuff. It's actually my hardest part about sourcing them is she tries to take half my inventory. But, um... So I'm trying to focus on these bigger sizes. They're a little too big for her. But this scrub top here, it's a 2XL. I'll list it for $13.99. It'll sell within a month or two, if not in a week. You know, sometimes, never really know how fast they're going to sell. Sometimes I'll sell one in like three days, and then other times it'll take, you know, a month or two. But that will sell. This right here, bought that same thrift store. This is a... Was it a dollar? This is a 3XL big size and it's novelty. Everybody loves little minions on there. This will be listed $15.99. I'll actually be shocked this last two weeks being a big size. Um, being the big size that it is. Being flowers, minions that I sell pretty quickly. Big sizes usually do. If I get something to about 3X or bigger, Tays to sell right away. I listed like like three weeks ago. I listed a uh, it's a Halloween scrub top. Now we're nowhere near Halloween. It is currently like June third, fourth, something like that. And uh, I listed it. Sold in two days. Sixteen ninety nine. It's a three XL. Okay, Winnie the Pooh. I'm not sure, but it was Halloween scrub top. So if you find, you know, especially seasonal holiday ones, list them. They'll sell. <clears throat> this is about a yard sale today. I picked up four scrub tops at this yard sale for a dollar a piece. I got there right when she was putting them out. They're all size extra large. This is a Dr. Seuss. This is the uh, Redfish Bluefish. Pretty cool. 14 bucks probably. This here. Everybody's favorite mouse couple. Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Yeah, there's Mickey in there. I was a little confused. Thought for a second there was only Minnie. Yep, extra large, fourteen bucks. This 
This is actually a 2XL. Hello Kitty. And if I was a nurse, this would be what I would be wearing. Mr. Darth Vader himself. Star Wars. I might price that a little higher just because it's Darth Vader, man. But um, that is the women's clothing all out of that. Um, you know. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about it, but love scrub tops. Scrub tops are awesome. Maybe in the next couple days or two, I will actually do a video completely on scrub tops. What I look for, what I sell them for, my process on selling them. Um, because I don't see a lot of people in this community actually talking about them. I mean, you'll see, I've seen some of the some of the ladies that do videos talking about, oh, you find a cute one. You know, yeah. I sell the heck out of scrub tops. I love scrub tops. I will buy them all day, every day, twice on Saturdays. Alright, um, this was one of the only things that I got that wasn't clothing, and it's still kind of clothing, I guess, you know, it's, it's bedding. Um, found this, I'm gonna hide, nah, it's not gonna hide, but I paid $4.99 for this, it's a Ralph Lauren, um, bed sheets, has the teddy bears, all over it. I have no clue what this is going to sell for. I scanned it while I was in the store. There's one listing on eBay currently. And it's used. And the used sheets are, they want $40 plus like $6 shipping or something along that line. I have no clue what to list this for. So, um, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to list it high. I'm going to do a best offer on this. I, I've gone back and forth. I'll get into that another time. But I'll do best offer with this. I might list it for like $69.99 maybe. And, you know, I paid 5 bucks for it. So, let's see where the offers come in. See what kind of action I get on it. And we'll go from there. But I thought that was pretty cool. I couldn't pass that up. I don't really know. I don't even know how really old this is. I don't know. The listing that came up when I scanned that said vintage, but that doesn't mean anything. Anybody can type vintage in a listing. So I'll have to do a little bit more research. I'll try to look this up, Google search it, do some more research. Hopefully I have an update on that sells. Now I'm going to get into men's. Um, men's with me, for the most part, what I sell, I like jeans. Um... Dress shirts. I sell some t-shirts that I was getting at the bins. Stuff like that. But, um, jerseys. Sports jerseys. Um, I'm just starting now to get into dress shoes and suits and blazers. I don't really know a whole lot about them. I picked up a couple, though. So, we'll see how they go. But, um, first item here. This is a sports jersey. I did pay up for this. I paid ten dollars. The Pittsburgh Steelers. This is a Ben Roethlisberger. This is the stitched difference in sports jerseys. If you can find one that's stitched compared to like the um, non-stitched ones, I don't really know what they are, but non-stitched one. These will fetch a higher price. Um, hoping to get about forty. 40 for this dollar uh, thing. Pittsburgh Steelers is a very popular team. Ben Roethlisberger is the quarterback of such a popular team. Well, should have no problem selling that. Especially football season's coming up here. People love them some football. Let's put that off to the side here. There's uh, it's another thing. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> to be honest, I saw this thing. Sitting up on the shelf, just like this, on the corner. And I was like, ooh, there's a romper for Casey. <laughs> if anybody's been following him and Luke, uh, they have a bet going on of some sort. If Luke can get this big bulk purchase done in case he has to wear a man romper. romper. And uh, But no, this is not a romper. This is some kind of athletic, I think it's like a suit that if you were going to... Uh, like swim long distances. That's what I think this is. It's by Virus. 
is action sports performance. I have no clue. Um, I picked it up. And with every intention, I put it on the top of my cart. And I was going to look it up um, after I picked it up. And I never did. But I paid $5 for it. I don't know if it's a good buy or not. But we'll see. I take some risks sometimes. Especially five bucks. Something like that will sell. It's just how much will it sell for. So hopefully I can at least make five dollars back. Got this is paid five for this. This is a no boundaries. I think this shirt is hideous. But it's a polyester, like really light, almost silk filling. Japanese letters, dragons. It's a two XL. It's new with tags, even though it looks like somebody tried to bite the tag. But um I think I should get twenty dollars for this all day. I think it's hideous, but there is a large following for shirts like this. So hopefully somebody will buy it. This right here, I like this. This is a uh short sleeve, summer. I don't usually find too many good short sleeve shirts in my thrift stores that aren't like 900 years old. But it's Brooks Brothers. It's medium. It's made of 100% linen, which I think is going to help this sell. Hoping to get between 17 and 20 um, for this. Pay five. Yeah, it wasn't half all day. But my yard selling was really doing not too good today. I mean, at 10 o'clock this morning, I went out 7, 10 o'clock, all I had were four scrub tops and one video game. And the video game was like a Wii game that I'm going to get like $8 for, and I paid like 50 cents. So, <laughs> not even, even special. So, I was a little frustrated, so I went to my favorite thrift store. Always helps. And I left the thrift store and was driving home, and there was a church sale literally right down the street from my house. Like, that sucks. Oh, it was awesome though. Um... Ch -ch -ch. Here, this is a another short sleeve. It's like a green checkered. Also, Brooks Brothers. Now this one's cotton, so you know I'm thinking probably closer to like sixteen. I uh, bought this for half. I think it was half off. Is it? No, yeah, half off of four. So I paid two. That was at a different thrift store that I went to earlier in the week. Back to sports jerseys. Some Atlanta Falcons. Michael Vick. Love him, hate him. I don't really care. He's probably the most famous Atlanta Falcon in the last 20 years. And I think he's going to do a one-day contract with them to retire hurt, but I don't know. But size extra large. It was $7.99. It was half off when I bought this. So, paid four. Just get 20 for this. They don't shy away from jerseys, man. Even players that, uh, you know, don't play for that team. I just sold today uh, New York Giant OC Human Yura, if I'm saying that right. Uh, sold that for 18 that I bought at a yard sale like two weeks ago. Um, I just recently picked up, because I was doing some eBay arbitrage earlier today, and I picked up a LeBron James uh, Miami Heat jersey and a... Adrian Peterson, Minnesota Viking jersey, paid twelve dollars for the two. So, yay! Oh, uh, back to the hall. Got focus. Joseph A. Bank sweater. This was four bucks, half off. Two. Nothing super special. That cool little diamond print there. Hoping I can get uh, fifteen twenty. It's actually oh, this is the main reason I bought it. it was wool. But it's like a light wool. I guess that just doesn't feel that heavy. So, you know. Somebody who lives in a little or chillier temperature. Might want that now. So it might sell now. I'm going to list it now. But we'll see. This here. This fits my hometown perfectly, man. This is a Northern River Outfitter. If I said that properly. Size 2XL. It's a long sleeve hunting shirt. Has uh, some big old bucks on there. 
that will have no problem selling. Figure, I paid $2.99. That's $20. Alright, I'm going to get into some of these suits and blazers here. Now, once again, I don't know a whole lot about suits and blazers. Um, I try to watch. I've been watching Luke. I've been watching um, Over at Endless Entrepreneurs. Check him out. I watch Raken. Raken Profit. Everybody knows about him. So, I'm learning a little. But uh, I have a long way to go. So, this is the first batch. First couple that I've bought. First one I bought here. It's a full suit. This is 100% wool. Where is it at? Polo University Club, Ralph Lauren. Um, it's pants and top, but it's just uh, blue like pinstripe, I guess. Yeah, that's the part that I don't know the patterns and stuff. This was 14.99. I paid half off, 7.50. So. I don't think it was that bad of an investment. It's a little bit of money. My wife was like, oh, start buying them. But uh, hoping I can get like 40, maybe 50 out of that. We'll see. I'm uh, kind of holding off on listing them because I'm a little nervous. But uh, trying to learn more about the patterns, sizing, making sure my measurements are right. I'm also getting a new lighting kit that's coming in. Guy sent it stupid FedEx and been sitting in California for like four days. Drives me nuts. I still won't get it until next Friday. Hoping that comes earlier. But, uh, <laughs> see here. This is a, uh, Joseph A. Bank. I bought it at thrift store today. Five dollars. Half off. Two fifty. This is wool. I think from what I have been learning, we can turn my light a little bit here. Oh, it's horrible. Try not to do that. So that's why I need a new lighting kit. But, I don't know if you can really see that, but I think this is some window painting here, and there's another one that Luke talks about that I don't really know, so sorry that's not really that helpful for you guys, but <laughs> for $2.50, I'm hoping they get, you know, if I get $30 for it, I'll be happy, um, but I really think this is a very popular pattern. I'm going to have to go back and watch Luke's video. Everybody, forget what I said the last two minutes. Go watch Luke, Endless Entrepreneur. Does a great video on suits and blazers. I do not. And this is another one that I bought. This was at that uh, church sale. Ten cents. Woohoo! It's Calvin Klein. It's wool. Let's see, it's Hange Tooth, Hans Tooth. I don't know what it's called. Skin. Coach Luke, Endless Entrepreneur. But, hmm, I get 20, 30 bucks. Pay 10 cents. 10 cents. It's a good way to learn. If you can keep your prices low, you can learn. If you mess up, buy, make a buy buy. Play 10 cents. Sell something else. A uh, few more things. Thanks for holding in there, guys. I know I'm dragging on. This was at that church sale. Anticipation. No. These are. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger golf pants. They're size 38 by 32. A blue checkered everything hideous that you expect for golf pants. Figure 15, 20. That's what the comps looked at. 10 cents. Uh, these. These are also 10 cents. They're just Echo jeans. I would not have bought these if it wasn't for the fact that they were 10 cents. And I think they were a decent size, were they? Yeah, 34 by 30. Okay, size. But they're in really good condition. I like them. 10 cents. I sell them for 15. Oh, what are these? What are these? Oh, these were at a thrift store, of course. It's a little dinky one. Runs half off everything once a month. Hit the store. This was a clearance item. They have clearance racks for a dollar. And then on half off days, they're 50 cents. But, um, 
They're just uh, Banana Republic Chino uh, khaki pants. I got two pairs. Oops. Two pairs. So, they are 50 cents each. I'm going to get 15 for them. They're actually the exact same style. They are the Emerson Chino. But, the colorings are a little different. I'm really hoping that with my new lighting kit, I'll be able to pick them up. That's why I can't do a quantity listing. They're the same size and everything. They're just a little different. I mean, I probably could lot them together and a lot of two and ask like 30 for them. But, um, you don't know how I'll do that yet. I'm going to play that by ear. This is a pair of Russell. Russell. Uh, baseball pants. They were six dollars, brand new with tags. I paid three, half off. But these are really stinking long, really long, really long. Love baseball pants. Sell the heck out of them. If you can get Nike or Ar Under Armour, they're better. But I've sold Easton and I've sold Russell before. So I found Russell new with tag though. So hoping that's a good one. Um pair of lucky brand crap I talk too much my phone video recorder actually cut me off said you talk too much <laughs> let's get back in here and finish the last and I'll try to edit that together but as I was saying before my phone rudely interrupted me lucky brand men's jeans super special but I paid $2.50 for them I usually get $24.99 for them Usually, pair of Levi 505s. It's a gray 250. She get 20. And then a pair of they're just Dockers khaki shorts. I don't know how much I paid for them. Tag fell off. Probably paid like two dollars, three dollars, something like that. But price tag originally was fifty. I should get twenty for these. Has a hmm, smartphone pocket. Way to go, Dockers. Being up with the times. But um, yeah, that's everything I got. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed. Hope I didn't make myself look too dumb today. But. uh yeah, look forward to making some more videos. Um, if you guys like it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go away. No, I don't care. But, um, yeah, man, if you want to subscribe, it would be awesome. I'll try to make some more videos. I have fun doing these. So, um, for that, man, it's again, Dan, Taste a Dream. Go watch other people who are smarter than me. Casey, Luke, check them out. A whole bunch of other ones. Some prop sales. Want to watch a 10K on a bay? Drive time with Dave. Breaking profits. Bonafide hustler here. I can go on all day. I'm going to leave now. Have a good one, man. Get them sales.